I want to discuss a topic that came up um, when I was on a coaching call this morning about intuition versus empathy and one of the people in my coaching group talked about her daughter um, having an intuition because she was picking up on other people's emotions, picking up on her mom's emotions, which is something that happens. You can pick up on other people's emotions, other animals' emotions. Animals can pick up on your emotion. And I think of that as empathy rather than intuition because what you're doing is you're picking up on what another being is feeling. So like if your mom is sad and you feel sad, that's that's empathy. Or um, just if you walk into a room and people are all happy or revved up and you pick up on the mood, that's that's empathy. That's feeling other people's feelings or other animals' feelings or other animals feeling your feelings. So um, I've noticed this with cats, dogs, horses, just animals in general, they will pick up on how you're feeling. Um, intuition is another thing. It's, I want to say it's not really a feeling, but that isn't quite accurate because people often get confused between intuition and feeling. So sometimes that's why people are like, oh, I had a bad feeling, but is that something I need to act on? Or is that just my past traumas triggering me about something? And so then I don't do it because I have this feeling, but it's really... It's really not the situation at all. So an important thing to know is that in order to really tap into intuition, you have to get out of this state of feeling. You have to be neutral. You can't be in intense emotions like intense joy, intense sorrow, intense anger. If you're, if you're feeling the feelings, then I mean, you want to feel the feelings, but at the same time, it's like in order to tap into wish, into intuition, you have to be able to quiet that down and get into a space of knowing rather than feeling. And this is why people use things like tarot cards um, about a situation because um, a lot of times we're feeling feelings and we have ideas about stuff that may be from past situations we've been in or our beliefs. Um, and doing a spread will allow us to take a step back and look at it from a perspective that's removed from that. So intuition is, is really a knowing. It's it's not a feeling, but it can be confused with a feeling, if that makes sense. And I didn't really think so many people were confused by it, including people who are very spiritual and very knowledgeable about spiritual things and even teach modalities of spirituality and emotions and, and different stuff, but yet... Um, you know, sometimes people say intuition like a gut feeling, like sometimes that's how people describe it. Um, but really knowing the differences between these things and how you can utilize this information to make sense of your world requires practice and requires discernment. And it's really a critical thing for you to learn in order to make better decisions in your life. And when you're confusing one for the other, then you can come to make some pretty messed up decisions. So I'll leave it at that for now and just, you know, feel, 
feel free to comment and I'll go in depth more later.